With the disastrously rising incidence of climate crisis around the world, what does tomorrow look like for the marginalized sections of the society? Does it look brighter? Or do the least to be blamed seem to be the most to suffer? In the world heavily relying on fossil fuels, it's time to take a step towards a safer future, not just for today, but for generations to come. Fossil fuels cause climate change and also pose risks to our health, surrounding landscapes, and water resources. What we need is an immediate shift towards renewable forms of energy, away from fossil fuels, thereby ensuring a healthier, inclusive, and strategically planned tomorrow. As we strive to transition away from fossil fuels, it is important to note that the shift can pose a significant challenge for many low- and middle-income countries and communities that are still dependent on fossil fuels and emissions-intensive sectors. These include mining, manufacturing of consumer goods, textiles, agriculture, and many more. So, the real question is, how can we bring a change that is fair to all? With the global attention to fast-track climate mitigation efforts, the idea of just transition has become increasingly central in the international climate debate. Just transition makes it possible to ensure immediate climate actions and at the same time reduces inequalities, provides decent work and access to clean energy for all. This can be done by ensuring that the substantial benefits and consequences of a green economy transition are shared equally and responsibly among all of the stakeholders like marginalized workers, employers, government, businesses, financial bodies, trade unions, union federations, or workers' organizations and other civil society groups. With social dialogue, policies of inclusive nature can be formulated and implemented at all local, national, and global levels. Also by the Asian countries, which in one year accounted for close to half of all CO2 emissions worldwide. What does just transition look like? Moving from carbon-intensive to carbon-neutral ways of production and consumption, many jobs could be lost in the fossil fuel-intensive industries. But many new jobs can be created at the same time in the emerging sectors. A just transition would cater to the effective marginalized workers and communities by ensuring they receive the support, social protection, and investments they need to thrive in a zero-carbon world. It is about shutting down polluting power plants, but also installing solar and wind farms while providing marginalized workers with skills to become ready for the change. Indeed, this is what the Paris Agreement requires. Plans to fight climate change that include just transition measures to build an ecosystem of decent work and quality jobs. Because there is no climate justice without social justice, and no social justice without climate justice. <laughs>